what's really frustrating about this all is that he is calling himself a liberal all the time. He says, yeah. I'm a liberal. I think in this video, he says I'm a liberal, but I don't know how in good faith you call yourself a liberal and not see how much people on the right are working against breaking down social barriers, breaking yes. down systemic issues, um, working for you know, the betterment of all people. I don't know how he turns his, his nose up to that and says, nah, Donald Trump has it right. I don't. Well, I, I think that's I, what you're talking about with the permission thing where like someone who is, who is like, maybe right leaning or center leaning or whatever, and they want to hate Hillary Clinton or they want to hate Biden or whoever they want to hate. Well, it's okay because this liberal said it's okay. If the liberals say it's okay for me to vote Biden or sorry, vote Trump, like then it has to be, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, hello? I'm sorry, I'm cringe. <laughs> You're literally you posting cringe. <laughs> yeah. It's streamer mode. I didn't get a. I didn't get the update. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so my main question is, how are we gonna watch this? Are we just gonna like, how are we gonna know when to pause? And stuff? We'll just say Same okay, pause. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So Thanks. there's a there's some way that you can like watch videos. There's some app. I have to figure it out. I, I don't even remember what it is. There's something that allows you to like me to control it for you. But yeah, I think you would have to, well, we used to have rabbit, but we don't have that anymore. All right. Hold on. Let me, let me open this up. Ah, Tim, he was screaming. Yes. Tim does that. Yes, he does. It's that beanie. He's containing all his rage. <laughs> oh my God, please. Okay. There we go. Oh, watch together. Right. Hold on. A WDK oh, might be here with it? a fucking, like a champ. Can I, can I do this for free? What do I have to do? Create your room. Create. Join the room. Okay. Wow. Uh, hold on. Getting an ad. Fuck. Okay. 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 Cool. It has picture in picture. So what do I do with the video? Um, this. What are you? What are you and your stream talking about? Before. Like what were we just talking about? Yeah. I think we were talking about we were talking about Jordan Peterson. Oh, I said I saw him being talked about a lot yesterday. What did he do something? I don't know if he did something. Someone was just showing me like this. Uh, squirrel made a, like a thread about him. And, oh well, uh, I can't see anything squirrel does. So <laughs> me either. I just opened it in an in an incognito tab. She 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 blocks me. Dude, she blocks. She is such a. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what's appropriate. I just think she's a shithead. All right, is this working? Yeah. So let me let me now get my stream. Welcome to think. watch together. Hide the window capture. Now we got the box. Oh my goodness! I think it's gonna work. All right, let's do a real quick test. All right. Okay. Let me know if this plays for you. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's oh. working. Oh, loudy. All right. Now hold on. Sorry, I have to redo the audio because I'm going through this and then not like actual YouTube. Um, chat, let me know if the they level's good. They don't exist good. to tell you the truth. They just is he too talk loud? about propaganda and uh, I can make it narratives. lower to clarify. To, so it's fine. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure on my end because we just went through like a sound adjustment thing on YouTube. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Is that good? Okay. He's not too loud? All right, cool. A 5% lower? Okay. How about this? There are many people who work in news media. Testing, and testing, testing. Who... Oh, hmm. I should do this actually. Perfect. Cool. All right. Oh. Man, are you ready to unleash the beanie? <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like the way that sounds. <laughs> oh, no. All right. All right. So the reason I'm interested in this video is because um, I made that really long video debunking the conspiracy theories in that image that made it to the top of the Tim Pool subreddit, right? Mm -hmm. And I posted it there, and we were going uh -oh. through all the responses, which a lot were just, oh, well, you know, what you, look at these biased sources. And my sources were CNN, Associated Press, shit like that, right? Like mm -hmm. the New York Times, of course. So the mainstream media, which... Well, to be fair, anything that isn't OAN is biased. Mm. Yes. And when you point that out to someone like that that worships Tim Pool, when you point that out, um, they'll say, no, 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 no. I don't just rely on them, but I cross-reference. And I do, I think, for myself. And that's the kind of shit that Tim's going to talk about. But... Let's let's go ahead and listen to the first like 10 seconds of what this dude says. Okay, let's go. 
Many of you already know the media is not on your side. They don't exist to tell you the truth. They just pump out propaganda and activist narratives. Oh, exactly 10 seconds. And 10 <laughs> seconds of absolute fucking garbage. When you peddle that narrative that you're the only source of, of objective truth, and yet you tweet things without reading them, which is why he tweeted a fake Associated Press article the other day. Like, of course these yes. people are great. Like he's, he's, I know he's not doing it on purpose, but he's building his brand, right? Like he's making him that, that source that people need to come to. And he's making all, all others are not credible. Even though I use them, they're only credible if I've checked them. If I think that they're credible, then they're credible. But if I don't, they're not credible. Exactly. And it's so fucking annoying. And, and like, I, are you familiar with the Washington Examiner? Uh, yeah. Okay. So my experience is that Washington Examiner is more of a tabloid and not a real paper focused on journalistic integrity. And definitely with a right-leaning slant. Would you say that's accurate? Um, I would have to double check. There's like a website that shows you the leanings of everything. Um, I would have to double check, but that sounds more or less accurate. Okay. So let's keep that in mind as we go down this rabbit hole. Uh-oh. To clarify, there are many people who work in news media and local news who do a good job. I use mainstream news sources all the time. I just have to vet these articles. I can't just pulp an article and assume what they're saying is true. So I try to find a bunch of different articles. And if they're saying similar things, then I think, okay, maybe this is as close as we can get to the truth. Admittedly, I have to trust them very often, but with a healthy dose of skepticism. If they're ever citing a poll, I'll look in the poll. If they're ever citing a lawsuit, I'll look into the lawsuit. Like with the fake news about Donald Trump's lawsuit in Pennsylvania, I actually read the suit. Check the source and see if they're giving you fake news. Well, now we have another. First of all, are you able to pause on your end? Oh, am I? Let me see. Sir, sir. Yep. Oh, I am. Well, this Sweet. Is sick. Awesome. Okay. So then whenever you have a thought, you can you don't have to wait for me. Um, do you know what fake news he's talking about in Pennsylvania? Um, are they talking about the the coverage that like Pennsylvania Biden won Pennsylvania. Is that what he's talking about? Like the vague concept that like Trump didn't win and that's what they're covering. I have no idea. That's that's what <laughs> that's what hurts about some of the some of these claims. It's like, what fake news did you cover? Like, be more specific because I want to go fact check that, too. I want to see what you're talking about when you say you fact check the shit. Because like the weird thing is, I think that the reason why Tim Pool is so um he like vibes so hard for other people is because most of this stuff is like more or less based right you probably shouldn't if you read something on like one uh, like website and it's the only place you've seen it covered and nobody else is talking about it or every other news source is disagreeing with this one post uh they might not be true right mm -hmm. there's as if, like if, if the new york times uploads a piece on like i don't, I don't know fucking tim pool right and every and then like every other news source is refuting that okay well then probably the, the new york times is wrong on this right but like so but so he packages things that make sense but then he comes to weird bizarre conclusion like and therefore fake news is the only new is, is not you can't trust fake news and and this is what fake news is and okay i'm done end of sentence you know yep and uh like like the like the the hunter biden laptop thing right isn't it a little weird that if they could have this bombshell to drop on a candidate that this is the year they decided not to do it. Like, just they hate Trump so much that they're avoiding a gold mine of information. Or is it more likely that, you know, they're a little less scruple scruples at the New York Post about uh, posting unverified hacked shit versus the New York Times? Also, like, it's like, what, they're not going to release his fucking sex tapes, dude. Like, <laughs> they're, the, that's not going to happen, right? Yeah, yeah. I, he's he's probably going if they tried to release it, he would probably like sue them or something. Like he wouldn't like just let them keep it up. I mm -hmm. this, we had the same problem with um fuck who was that wrestler with like the white mustache? Hulk Hogan. Why, I forget. Yes, he, he had a similar problem where people were releasing this sex tape of him. Mm -hmm. Um and, and the they got sued they to going, hell. And they got yup, they got sued to hell cuz you're not allowed to fucking, you know, do that you or, or rather that it's not that you're not allowed but you're not allowed to do it without repercussions so they have no interest in releasing what him you know sleeping with some women in a different country and getting a foot job like <laughs> okay cool he likes feet like what do you what what a man of okay. culture 
or I don't know. I don't know what I'm <laughs> crack, crack and feet, man of culture. Um, yeah. Uh, uh. And it, it's really hard to be repetitive, but like these are the kind of things that make Tim problematic. If he was just objectively fact checking and and unspinning the spin, that would be one thing. Wouldn't anyone like that? You, you're familiar with like permission when it comes to like uh, marketing ideas in politics, right? Uh, what are you talking about? So like um, there is a I was listening to some advertisements being talked about from the election. And one of them was a, it was a black man, I think, from the NFL who was saying it's OK to be a an Obama voter and now vote for Trump. And what it's doing is it's giving permission for those who feel like, hey, well, am I a racist for voting for Trump? Because that's what a lot of like people are saying online. Well, those Got kind it. of thoughts. It's giving permission to those people saying, hey, you can not be a racist a and person. still vote for Trump. Yeah. Yeah. So I think Tim gives people permission to doubt media sources that go against their views. And that's one of the worst things about him. It's not I his be believed objectivity. It's that he's wrong and he is so up his own ass that he's making other people doubt their shit. And like the dude is apparently the biggest online media personality like that's doing news. Yeah. And I don't yeah. think he has any self-awareness to realize that he's collected a very large group of center right people that mm -hmm. don't want to be pushed any further to the left what's what's so the interesting thing is i've like been close friends like my ex was like a left-leaning person right mm -hmm. I, 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 like at the very least on social issues very left left-leaning right and he like loved tim pool like mm -hmm. loved tim pool and it's like, and, and, and the reason why people that are on the left or center left or just center or skeptic or they use any of these titles, the, the reason that they like Tim Pool is that Tim Pool makes you feel comfortable, I think. Um, and he packages it in a way that like makes you feel smart about being comfortable. Where it's like, see, it's just a healthy dosage of skepticism. Unlike those those libtards out there, unlike those th those people, yeah, they don't get it. They're not they're not skeptics, and that's why they're dumb and they don't know anything. But like we, we're skeptics, so you can trust what I have to say because I'm skeptical about everything that I post. You know? Yeah. Well, it's really it's really frustrating because, um, what's really frustrating about this all is that he is calling himself a liberal all the time. He says, yeah. I'm a liberal. I think in this video, he says, I'm a liberal, but I don't know how in good faith you call yourself a liberal and not see how much people on the right are working against breaking down social barriers, breaking yes. down systemic issues, um, working for you know, the betterment of all people. I don't know how he turns his, his nose up to that and says, nah, Donald Trump has it right. I don't. Well, I, I think that's I, what you're talking about with the permission thing where like someone who is, who is like, maybe right leaning or center leaning or whatever and they want to hate hillary clinton or they want to hate biden or whoever they want to hate well it's okay because this liberal said it's okay if the liberals say it's okay for me to vote biden or sorry vote trump like then it has to be right mm -hmm. uh all right let's uh so this video um i i listened to it last night uh just to get an idea of what we we're going to discuss and mm -hmm. And he's going to go into this post-election survey where basically it sounds like people were primed. And this is <laughs> this is my bias, but it sounds like people were primed with ideas. And these people are being approached in a disingenuous way. And basically saying, did you know Biden was for lockdowns? I don't know how anyone didn't know that Biden was for lockdowns yeah. at all, right? That kind of stuff. So... Mm -hmm. I, one thing I definitely want us to do is let's look up who the, who does this survey and, and kind of see if we can get into the methods they used. Sure. Survey. According to the Washington, Washington, Washington Examiner, Trump would have won 311 electoral college votes if media weren't biased. Like that, that claim alone right there. Like what the fuck does that mean if media weren't biased? I can't think of any post-election time in my life where this kind of shit has been looked at like this. Yeah, I don't, I, I, it's, first of all, if you think media is biased, media then therefore has always been biased, or at the very least for like the last two decades, the media has been biased. So I don't, I don't understand. Also like, fucking like fox news is like is the same group or the sorry the same news network that 
has like people coming on pretending to have seen voter fraud and like like mm -hmm. blacking out their silhouette or whatever and like they they're the ones that also admitted that like biden won like th that's about as biased as you can get you know <laughs> the news news organization that's bringing on like hacks to prove voter fraud has also admitted like i don't understand how you can even make the bias claim yeah to be charitable to him i will say that mm -hmm. when i in 2012 when Obama won, I remembered a lot of the like misinformation that went across Facebook. This is before we, you know, Russia learned to weaponize it, right? Well, there was a lot of, you know, the the people sharing just images because they resonated with them, not because they were actually factu factually accurate, right? And it was obviously both sides, but I saw a lot of shit anti uh, anti Romney, and I remember after the election thinking, you know, Romney only lost, you know, this state, that state by X number of votes. Are those votes that were swung because of, you know, the binder thing, which was, you know, him actually doing something good, but that was twisted into some gaffe that it wasn't right. Like how, mm -hmm. how much of that influenced those people? So I can get this perspective of if you had known this, if you had known that, but some of these points just seem way too duh that anyone was actually actively like misled. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's actually really. The media didn't report on Joe Biden's scandals or his son's laptop and the crack pipe and all that other stuff. And when people were asked about it, they said, wow, I would not have voted for him had I known that. In fact, you look at Dr. Naomi Wolf, who tweeted out almost immediately after the election, if I had known Joe Biden was in favor of lockdowns, I wouldn't have voted for him. How didn't you my know that? my response is, how did you not know this? Oh, even, did even you Tim said this. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. it's because the media lies and omits and lies by omission. Yeah. Here's the story. The examiner says the liberal media's efforts to hide Joe Biden related scandals from voters and bury good news about the Trump administration cost the president the election, according to two new voting surveys. Had voters known about troubling issues swirling around the Democrat and some of the uh, some of the successes of the Trump White House, including the Middle East peace deals, job growth and energy independence, Enough people would have turned away from Biden to give Trump 311 electoral votes, more than enough to win, said the polls shared with secrets. Ripping the media, Brent Bozel, founder of the Me Media Research Center, said, had they done their jobs, Donald Trump won the election. Bozel added, this is not happenstance. This is not coincidence. The Democrats knew better. And for a variety of reasons, media has become propagandistic drivel. Many of these people just want the Democrats to win. And I'll tell you, it's really simple. There's no grand conspiracy for the most part. Uh, I say that because I don't know. Maybe there is. But here, here's what I see happening, having worked for some of these companies. And I've said this before. What kind of article does well? Shock content, par hyperpartisan content. So what do news organizations do? They drift towards hyperpartisan content. He's not wrong here. Like this has been a, a case yeah. for media for a while um you yeah. know even the sources we like like you go look at the new york times they'll have some real clickbaity titles right this is not new so anything he's talking about but i will say while he was talking i looked up the media research center and not surprising it's a conservative content analysis group uh from rest in virginia um it's it's been around for a while it's been around since 1987 so it's not some new propaganda machine but 1987 is about uh, when the the right went through a big meta shift in in their dynamic of how they they manage social politics with with you know mainstream politics, and um, I don't know it just uh, it seems like a a thing that I bet Tim didn't give any question to right. Mm -hmm. And the weird thing is like so on this list, um, the Hunter Biden scandal. I'm pretty sure everybody knew about the Hunter Biden thing. I mean, he had to address it on the live debate where he said like your son well what about your son hunter and he said like yeah he has an addiction like millions of other americans have addictions you know all we can do is try and get him the help that he needs and you know like hopefully he can he can like overcome it you know like so like if you didn't know this like what did you just do you just not watch any of the debates do you just not do any like even that's like the bare amount of research right where you there's just on tv on cnn or msnbc or whatever it was what was airing on this is a bare amount. It's just you just sit down for two hours and watch it. So like that, I think, is bizarre to be on this list. Biden's sexual assault allegations. This is the most insane one because like I'm doesn't 
Trump have like way more sexual assault mm -hmm. like allegations? Like if anyone is shifting away from Biden because of this, I am like, it's beyond me. On this on this front, they are like basically like maybe the same. I don't know if Biden is any worse or better. I'm not even gonna make a claim on like justifying some sexual assault is okay and then some isn't. But like. The, you're not judging them on sexual assault because they both fail in this category. So therefore, you have to judge them on other things. The, the fact that anyone would shift away from Biden on this is just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like you said, I would ask if you didn't know about the Hunter Biden scandal, if you didn't know about the accusations against Joe Biden for sexual assault, I'd ask you next. Did you vote? Because yeah. I don't believe you participated in this election in any way, shape or form and didn't know about those two issues hands down it, it, yeah it would be it would be insane because the amount of coverage that trump had on it that he actively tried to use to smear i don't i it would just be th there's no way that these people are actually participating mm -hmm. uh, well let's see let's see how much tim buys into this they then are people who produce hyperpartisan content and falsely frame stories to maximize viewership this results in people saying don't write about the, the biden thing we're not going to get any clicks so they don't. And then no one hears about it. Now, admittedly, there's probably a lot of activists and propagandists who are probably also at these companies saying, don't write about that or else. Here's the post-election survey of 1,750 Biden voters in seven swing states. Percent unaware about the Biden assault allegations, 34.4%. 8.9% would have shifted away from Biden. Hunter Biden scandal, 45% were unaware. 9.4% would have shifted away. Harris, most leftist senator, 25.3 and 4.1 would have shifted away. However, I think it's fair to say she's the most liberal in the sense that she does not compromise, not that she's far left. Then, as for Trump's successes, energy independence, Middle Eastern peace deals, creating 11.1 million jobs, 33.1% economic growth, Operation Warp Speed, people were not unaware. 82% were unaware of at least one of these stories. Energy independence, 50.5% were unaware, and it would have created a grand total of about a 17% shift away from Biden. Now, to be fair, I, I, I do think they're, they're narrowing down the fact that there's probably overlap. Some of the people who didn't know about the allegations didn't know about energy independence, and it's, it's probable that you didn't know about a, lot of, uh, about a lot of this because, I don't know, you're watching CNN or something. It's, it, I think it's fair to point out Trump would have won. They say, what's more? The media had a partner in Twitter, which Bozel said censored Trump, his campaign, or family members 262 times during the end of the campaign. I fucking hated when he said that. I heard that last night. Of course they did. They were continuously spewing misinformation about mail-in voting and going out to the polls and the election being rigged and all other shit, setting the groundwork for the fiasco of the last three weeks. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course they were censored. Like, this... I don't understand. How do I reach these kids? How do we show them why and make them believe also, it? Like the thing is, if you give them verifiable sources, like the um, what was it? The Department of like Homeland Security, I think. Mm -hmm. Like maybe, maybe that's not it. Maybe that's not, don't quote me. I forgot the department. Okay, I'm, it's too early in the morning. But under Trump's like under Trump's uh cabinet or whatever, have specifically said this is probably the most secure election we've had. Like. And the verifiable source is saying that and nobody wants to listen to that source nobody wants to listen to the people that are literally saying this is a really secure election and we actually did the numbers on this we we fact checked it for you guys and everyone's like uh no this is too boring i want to see a lady on fox tell me that it's that it's rigged so of course yeah they're going to censor people because if you're actively not going to listen to the truth and spread a completely different narrative not based on the truth why wouldn't they censor you yep and it, it was Chris Krebs, who was working, obviously, in the Trump administration, um, but he was live fact-checking after the election, and that's why he got fired. Because as Trump is doing this um, spin and bullshit, that this dude was like, "Oh yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fact-check this." He was running some like independent site while doing this. I thought it was really funny. But yeah, what a, what a big crock of shit. Um, yeah. th this guy is doing exactly what you said saying this is the secure selection we've ever fucking had yeah i mean oh all Someone eyes are on this said it's the cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency and apparently yep. the head of 
the head of it uh, of of the agency was fired for the statement. Yeah, that was Chris Krebs. Yeah, about it. yes. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, insanity. It, it's nuts, and it's like, where was Tim Pool skeptic? This is what pisses me off, Denims. What pisses me off is that <laughs> where's the skepticism for that? Because this motherfucker was all about like, oh, look at these people out celebrating Joe Biden after the thing. Where was your fucking talking shit about Donald Trump having rallies during the height of the pandemic? Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Biden's team was never censored. In one survey for MRC by McLaughlin and Associates, enough of Biden's voters would have switched their selection had they known about his son Hunter's money scandal to give Trump a victory. In that poll, 4.6% of Biden voters said they would not have selected him had they been aware of his son's China money affair. In the second, done by the poll. Let's be super clear, by the way. Um, Hunter Biden's money dealings in China are actually really well known, and there's nothing nefarious in there. You, might, you can have some discussions about multinational corporations, whatever you believe in regards to that, but there's nothing over in China that is problematic as far as but, I, but I can I wanna, tell. I want to use the buzzwords. I want to use the fear-mongering buzzwords. Uh, China. China money. China money. <laughs> uh, you know what was really funny is the other day I had Lauren Southern uh, reply to me with something about um about chi the Chinese people have a word for our white liberals in America, and she completely misused the term, first of all. But second of all, I was like, do you really want to like use the social criticism through the lens of a country that the right likes to demonize like is that really the angle you're taking on this dumbest shit in the fucking world no self-awareness hey, no one said that people on the right had self-awareness to be fair so <laughs> uh, to uh, the internet as a whole lacks a whole lot of self-awareness polling mm -hmm. company for mrc 17 percent of voters would have shifted away from biden had they known about biden's scandals and trump's achievements Look at this massive percentage changes in Pennsylvania and Michigan and Georgia and Arizona, Wisconsin and Nevada, the key swing states. Hypothetical Trump margin. Now, all of this is hypothetical, but I think it's fair to at least say we knew the game was rigged from the start. We knew social media was banning high profile Trump personalities and the Republicans were too stupid or complicit since 2018. Anytime you ask someone, I got into the, like this in like a Tim Pool or Stephen Crowder Twitter thread. Anytime you ask someone what is banned on Twitter that forces people to go to parlor or makes them lose their Twitter account? Can you show me an example? And you can't, they'll say some vague things. Like someone brought up like talking about abortion, but then when he, I asked for sources, he, he was talking about a company that was putting dead babies and fetuses that were chopped up on their advertisements. And Twitter said, Hey, you can't use that media when advertising. So it's like, there's an explanation. There's a reason for it. And they fucking, yeah. Yeah, I just, I'm sorry, you're making completely good points, but I absolutely cannot, I I cannot get over the fact that the, that he just fucking quoted the fucking Fallout New Vegas, the game was rigged from the start, like, I'm sorry, I just, what the fuck? Well, uh, it's so funny, <laughs> Denims, it's so funny, because the game was rigged by Trump, this mm -hmm. whole fiasco mm -hmm. is because he set the trap. That makes too much sense, dude. Stop making sense. Fuck. I'm going to uh, off myself in a video game. Yeah, in Minecraft. Can I ask um, your chat to do something real quick? In my chat, too? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to link the um, the article, guys, to the yeah, guys and gals. Apologies. Uh, and uh, there's the Washington Examiner. And if you guys can find the MRC, I'm not seeing it offhand. Um, if you can find the MRC study, like an actual link to it, um, Oh, wait, never mind. I'm stupid and I just found it. Uh, so then I'm going to link that to you guys so you guys can have it and you can follow along at home. But I think we should look at this after to, to see how this study was conducted. Or, or earlier, we've all been talking about censorship against conservatives who are the primary victim of censorship. Why? Because they wanted Trump to lose. Duh. And the only reason they like uh, me is because I'm able to attract many of these conservative viewers, but I'm actually a liberal. So you see, you see oh how the my game God, is you said it. They say Tim Pool's a liberal. Eh, he gets these viewers. That way we can. I've, I've said this over and over again. Just, just so you're aware, it's dude, not. A and he, sorry, he wears it like a fucking badge, dude. I'm a liberal, and I get the righties to watch me. Look, they like me. The righties like me. Unlike you, crazy lefties. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> 
well, they'll say things like classical liberal. So then they'll be like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm all for gay marriage. I'm all for, um, you know, what? I, I can't even think of what. What's beyond that? What's beyond gay marriage? Uh, maybe trans pro rights? Um, Pro-choice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they're like, I, I don't hate gay people and I'm pro-choice. So therefore, I am a liberal and you cannot touch my policies and I am mm -hmm. above you. Also, someone in my chat said, at like and dude yeah people regurgitate this pj veritas insanity and because they're unsatisfied with the conclusions due to it not being taken seriously by the media they have to create wilder theories or add their own bits and pieces to the mythos of dead baby parts and babies being mutilated yep yeah i i and let me tell you i i i don't know if i lean on this too much but i was conservative before when that project veritas thing came out about the uh, the abortion clinics Mm -hmm. I, I was susceptible to it. I saw that video and I was horrified. I'm like, this is fucking disgusting. Fuck Planned Parenthood. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Obviously, my views have changed on Planned Par Parenthood since. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, they, you're absolutely right. They have to rely on on that kind of bullshit. Oh, my fucking God. Do you know about the, the what's that guy's name? James O'Keefe? Is that the Project Veritas leader? Is that him? That name sounds super familiar. I, I think that is. Um, he has this thing... Uh, he does what that's called um oh, not recants yeah, okay he has like a not a recant but a like a correction tracker or something like that and they're up to like within the 300s but this dude has never actually had a legitimate correction like for the first time i looked into it um someone the other day uh i saw the correction tracker tweet and he was talking about whatever and i looked up the article it wasn't a correction all they did was say project veritas lawyers contact us and wanted us to say that he is they are not a this organization, but of that organization. And the entire thing still laid out exactly the point they wanted to do. The message is clear to anyone who's not like sucking off P Project Veritas. Like there are, yeah, this is obviously them just, you know, placating the lawyers so they can move on with their life. Yep. And yeah. also, yeah. And like, also like corrections happen all the fucking time, like to normal articles. It doesn't mean something bad. It usually just means unless you're a, conservative media organization that writes a hit piece and then only posts the correction after the damage is done most mm -hmm. corrections are in good faith yeah i mean like this is it's it's also so weird that people talk about like media bias but only with liberals when the obama fucking birth certificate shit came out box ran so many stories about him being like a muslim and an arab and all this other dumb shit like over and over and over again at prime time and then i think they made one correction at like three in the morning mm -hmm. they were like oh by the way this wasn't substantiated and then they never went they never touched it again after they already ran like 20 different fucking hit pieces on it and same like, well what the what the fuck dude that doesn't you can't like create this, this <laughs> fucking shit for your fucking like obama's an arab because he's fucking do and then like when like millions of americans are watching and then when like four people are on then you're like by the way we are not sure about that last part exactly i Oh, it's like the Benghazi thing. Do you remember that? Like the Benghazi thing happened and then Fox News got the the study came out and basically said the government acted properly, the State Department acted properly, no troops were left behind, like blah, 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 blah. Um, they didn't turn away some force that could have saved them. And Fox News said like three things about it and just didn't touch it at all. Yeah, super cowardly, super, you know, unaccountable for the message that they drove. You're fucking right. You're so right. Yeah. Also, um, somebody said uh, embedded in the graphic, it says it is based on an MRC survey of 1750 Biden voters who say they would not have voted for him if they had known certain facts. So they're only using data from people who claim they regret voting for Biden. Um, I, I, so I'm not big on studying studies like I, I rely on them pretty heavily if I believe that they're from a good source because I'm I'm just not familiar with this so I would I would I know that we can sample like I know that you can do seven 1750 people and get an accurate result if you choose the right people but I think mm -hmm. it I'm assuming that also includes how you reach out to these people so I would really like to know how MRC reached out to people to ask you know those almost 2000 Biden voters um, yeah these questions but then again you voted for Biden you participated in this election. How didn't you know at least two of those big points? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I just. Especially because they were like in the debate. You don't even have. You just have to watch one of the debates. Like the most normy shit to be packaged for you in the world. How do you not know that? Mm -hmm. And then it gets spread around. And it, you Like how do you not see it? I don't know how you yeah. don't. But I don't know. 
and I, I understand that we're a little biased because you and I actually I, engage I in politics. But like the thing is, it's like we actually are like sitting down and like because we, I guess, like our masochists, we're like looking through policies. It's like, <laughs> like, OK, well, what about this policy? OK, well, what about this? OK, what about, you know, like we're actually going piece by piece. But like even if you do the most normy accessible shit ever and you happen to turn on CNN and you saw that the debate was going to be on and you watched the debate for two hours, you would have seen this. Yep. Like, that is the most that is the most like accessible way to have watched something about the politicians or the, the you know candidates and their policies quote unquote oh god it hurts and so i think i think i'm starting to see like a the the image of like the follow-up video to this which i'm going to try to make like a 10 minute like straightforward here's the counter to all this and i think the yeah. narrative needs to be about the polling done so a little further research into the mrc like how they've operated in the past but also yeah. pointing out like tim's selective skepticism i think that could be a powerful thing that if someone wants to be convinced and it looks like from the subreddit there are people who want to be convinced and then they get downvoted to hell and uh oh man some of the comments were like aside from the sources the other comments were about invading and brigading and because they couldn't fathom content that goes against tim's grain on their subreddit it was kind of cringe yeah yeah i mean i don't disagree with anything here <laughs> I, it's, it is cringe i'm not i can't argue with that you know what's really cringe is it's hard to also like have a really good discussion about this when we're so in agreement except for like bringing up oh, yeah. a, a few extra points that we're just kind of jerking our well we're just jerking off on tim yep. yeah. yeah yeah we are just jerking on his beanie also, someone else says, the worst part of conspiracies is you, you can't argue against them. They're incredibly bizarre, and they're so ingrained into a, into a person's perception of reality versus perceived reality. You can't give them a legitimate source or show them a video of actual process uh, because at that point, anything is fake, uh, which is like the same exact problem that you have with flat earthers. It's like, how are you supposed to prove to a flat earther if they literally just think that everything – like you show them a video, and it's like, well, no, that video was, it was fake. Well, like actually it couldn't have been faked because – we didn't have the technology. No, no, no. They had the technology to fake this. They just didn't tell us that they had the technology for it. And it's like, uh, okay. Well, what do you what would you say about these like the that a specific device that like measures the curvature of the Earth? And it's like, no, no, no. Well, that one is also fake because it's uh like they're they're making them and they're selling them and they they they're all not functioning correctly. And it's like, okay. So basically, there's no way for me to to show you that you're wrong. Got it. Yep. Okay. Cool. And that's it. It's very hard. And that's where if we go back to the beginning of this video where Tim says all media is lying to you. They're working against you. They're there to be propagandists. Um, and I am the only source of objectivity that you can trust. It builds his brand strength and it caters to those people. It caters to people who just have a disdain for biased media, which I do. I bet you do. But it mm -hmm. also caters to the people that are on the fringes of reality that operate in that conspiracy theory world. Yeah. And yep. he could be a powerful for a force for good. What if he just turned tail and just changed? Do you think he'd lose all of his audience if he if he started like you know being objectively normal? Oh, so I would actually say depending on how he did it, he wouldn't because like the weird thing is. So I don't know if you remember, she one head used to be like a big anti SW. Like she used to like yeah sort of shit on feminism like all the time, um, <laughs> and she was she was very big on this. She's like since changed her perspective but she's never made like a video saying like hey i was like kind of cringe when i was in anti-sjw so like all the people who followed her for anti-sjw stuff was like and they were like hey like she is such a she's one of the good females or whatever they still watch her right do they hate like, watch they, her no i don't even think they hate watch her like if you watch people's like like people's like retweets at her or like comments about it they're like damn she used to like talk about anti-sjw's and stuff and yeah, man. I like I guess she she's not an anti SJW anymore or something. Hmm, huh. weird. You know, like nobody responds like, fuck this bitch. Yeah. Like so like if Tim Pool made a slow transition, I feel like he would actually keep most of the people. I you know, if that's the case, like there's there's part of me that hopes that one day he does it. Because, yeah. you know, he has like if you watch his go to Social Blade and look at how fast he's growing, the dude is blown up and getting bigger, right? Yeah, yeah. And so that's a powerful platform. And you know, like when he tweets that out, it's not just like 700,000 people are going to see it. It's millions because that shit gets propagated. And and he could just, all he would have to do is be like, all right, I've had a paradigm shift. Let's move forward. And yeah. I think he could yeah. still be a good media force, which oh, is yeah. why. I mean, like, I don't think that the left would ever accept him, accept him, you know, because mm -hmm. we have our high standards and everything. But like, eh, 
purity testing and all that. True. True. Oh, dude. So we don't have to go super into it. But last night, I um, I I don't usually talk about the fact that I used to work for the government. Like I was in the military mm-hmm. and all, and all that. And I don't really talk about the work that I did. But someone brought up Snowden. Oh, she did. Brought up uh, pardoning Snowden. And I said nope with a smiley face because I have a nuanced take about Snowden because I believe that he brought good things to the public that needed to be talked about. But at the same time, I also know more about like the bad that he did and think he still needs to be punished. Dude, I got called mm. a fucking spook. I was harassed. I was, it was fun. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, no comment. No comment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, um, yeah. So, like, there, there is a little bit of like, oh, you can be all super cool progressive oh wait you you did what oh fuck you mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i don't, I don't know I, uh, sorry last thing but like <laughs> people in chat don't want me to know comment i don't know clearly i'm not going to know more than someone who's worked in the government about the snowden case okay i obviously only know what's on the fucking wikipedia page and like i don't know some youtube videos so uh, my my position is biased because i think that like snowden was it's probably fuck that we sent him over to Russia and we said, fuck you, don't come back uh, for like exposing, you know, uh, I don't know. So, why okay. And shit. I don't know. So to give the answer about mine, since I'm getting questions too about my take. So yes, he exposed certain things that are bad, but he also leaked 3000 documents that he didn't curate. He didn't go through all of them. He didn't like anytime you hear that, that spin, he admitted to Colbert that he did not read all the documents. He was pushed on it by Colbert. This was years ago after it happened when Colbert got an interview with him. He didn't read everything. He caused a lot of damage. He made the lives of the intelligence community that works to protect this country on the daily significantly harder. He made their work harder. He damaged programs that weren't hurting Americans, uh, that weren't spying on Americans. He damaged those programs. Yeah, he, he caused harm. Even if he didn't lead to the death of anyone, he still damaged the intelligence community and its effectiveness. And that community, I view, is just as important as the U.S. military when it comes to, you know, dedicating your life to service of this country. Um, so for the good he did, this is where we talk about nuance. For the good he did, he still did bad that deserves to be punished. And so the people that want him just outright um, uh, exonerated, fuck that. Dude needs to do a few years in jail um, for what he did. Hmm. So that's acknowledging the good part of the public discourse that came from what Snowden did and public awareness. And hopefully we don't do things like the Patriot Act, Patriot Act ever again. Like, yeah, cool. Awesome. You still fucked up. You still acted in self-interest. You still thought you were being a Boy Scout when you really didn't understand. That's the other thing. He didn't understand the depth of the programs that he was uh, leaking. So, so to confirm, he leaked stuff that he hadn't fully like delved vetted. into that yes. wasn't related to yeah what, that like wasn't just spying, spying on americans yeah it was okay. broader shit okay so yeah that sounds that sounds uh fair to me i think obviously i would have to like sit down and like look into yeah. it further before i make strong claims one way or the other um i think that the idea would be how much harm did he cause versus how much good did he uh what's it called did he cause you know what i mean mm-hmm. and and for yeah. me i think it's i think it's um maybe 70 30 70 harm 30 good really i do because i think the damage to those the programs that weren't um hurting americans i think um i i mean i i, I know people that work in these communities and i know the depth of the damage and how hard it's made their jobs and their lives alone so like if you just want to take an empathetic from the worker perspective snowden did a lot of harm oh i'm sorry let's go to like one that should be agreeable to everyone he shirked whistleblower channels whistleblower channels work we we hear news all the time about whistleblowers um actually following the channels he says he went to high up officials and complained about it but he never used a whistleblower channel if he had i'd have a lot more sympathy for him i'd still say he did wrong by doing the depth of what he did because he didn't know everything that he was leaking but the fact that he shirked whistleblower channels i think is also a a huge hit against him hmm. Hmm. or maybe we'll do maybe chat maybe we'll do a nice deep dive on this okay yeah this is how and i lose we'll fans make, we'll make, yeah this is this is, <laughs> this is how i lose as, as i start to um cross pollinate with leftist um more more hyper progressive areas yeah. of twitch and twitter this is where people go oh i thought you were cool fuck you dude 
yeah i mean i'm having the same i'm I'm having a similar problem where like i don't know how much you've delved into it i, I know we're like off topic off tim pool right now but like uh have you, have you vaguely seen some of the mike ico stuff i don't even know who that is and i hope that's not <laughs> like a bad mike, thing sorry mike from pa and a streamer called ico oh no so essentially like there was a video where mike made where he was talking about like like how we should unite under fucking class and uniting under like any other uh it paul or whatever is dumb because we're weaker in different groups and we're stronger together or whatever mm -hmm. and like you know getting together as a class is more powerful than getting together through race or gender or whatever the fuck right that sounds um, um that sounds right to me yeah it's it's a pretty base take i th i think i think that the take is fair I think that it's true. I think that we should all push for ideologies that are, you know, that benefit everybody, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then he made like some like, <laughs> I think he had really bad optics on a couple things. He like said like 16% parentheses, like, you know, about like the size of the black community, which like doesn't look good, but that's mm. probably mainly because mainly it's linked to the 1350s. So you don't want to touch that. <laughs> um, anyways, I go called him a class reductionist for these takes, right? Um, and i and she talked about him on her stream and like my take on this is like yeah he had bad optics on this i think that his take you know maybe could use a little bit of like a little bit of fine tweaking i think that the take itself or the intention behind it is good but my biggest problem with this is that i don't like when people don't even approach another person for their for the content that they disagree with like especially if you're mutuals on twitter or discord or whatever and you don't reach out to this person and say, hey, I want to talk to you about this thing and I'm going to talk to you, talk about your stuff and I want to critique your opinion or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I really don't like when like, I don't want to say like leftist infighting, but like essentially leftist infighting. Like you can have a productive conversation, right? But mm -hmm. instead you're choosing, no, I'm, I don't want a good faith. I don't want to steel man this person even a little bit. So I'm going to go on the aggressive. And maybe it's just because like, I don't, I don't want someone to take my takes Maybe I'm just looking at it from like a selfish perspective. I don't want someone mm -hmm. to take something I said and then like take it out of context and then be like, well, fucking Denims is like, you know, literally a racist. She's literally a racist because she said this or this or this, whatever. And it's like, okay, well, you know, you could just like bring me on. Like I, I'm very, it's very unlikely that I'm going to say no. Um, I don't understand. You know what I mean? Um, yep. So, and I know a lot of people don't like this take because I know that Mike is a very <laughs> abrasive person and a lot of people have problems with Mike. So it's it's very hard to have an opinion that a lot of other people don't agree with. So I, I, I vaguely understand your Snowden opinion here. <laughs> yeah, no, and like, I wouldn't have a problem with, but like someone, uh, some like relatively seemingly popular in the leftist community, anarchist woman retweeted me and said something about like, um, it's a, with quotes and said, it's okay to spy on Americans because I did it. And I'm like, that is not in any fucking way what I implied or said. And, and that kind of in, uh, bad faith engagement is what I fucking despise. So, yeah, I completely agree with you. And I say, like, you know, it's the whole it's not even like selfish when you when you give that context. It's like do unto others, dog. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, I, I completely 100 percent agree. I mean, the, I, I mean, I and I think it's easy to catch yourself doing it. I was I was watching some YouTube video, some some guy named uh, Hakeem on, on YouTube. And yeah, I saw you watching that. Yeah he's got this video on like aladdin and shit and like i think it's i think the video is very bad <laughs> i think the video i think the video is very bad and i think it's coming from the perspective of someone who doesn't watch animated movies you know mm -hmm. um and he obviously it's his only video on animated movies and um he makes a lot of like strong claims that i just think aren't true like um yeah so i i don't know i i like but like when i realized i was talking about him i was like oh fuck it like i'll just dm him on twitter i don't think i'm gonna get a response but i'll dm him and see if he wants to talk about mm -hmm. it but yeah anyways that's, that's I, my... I i wish more people did that that's why i hate cancel culture not for super cringe anti-sjw reasons but because it's like dog there are so more often than not way better ways to handle these kind of things um yeah and and a little empathy and not kid gloves but just i don't know not focus on your purpose is justice supposed to be punitive or reformative uh wait, wait give me one second okay yeah all right
My name is Lachan, please subscribe to my channel, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. I need your subs and I need your support so I can grow my shit bigger. Please, oh please, I don't need donations, just need your follows and adorations. Please, 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 please like, subscribe, and follow.